Hey everyone, I hope everybody's having a blessed day today. Welcome back to my channel. Alright guys, so I got a little something different for you today. This is something for my children. It's a Wii U gamepad and we have a problem with the uh, thing dying. The battery lasts about three and a half hours. So I ordered this package here off of Amazon and it's supposed to be almost probably triple the size of the battery. It's a 1500 milliamp battery that it comes with. This is a 6600 milliamp battery so we will see uh i'm going to show you guys how to put this together this is all that it comes with it comes with the battery and it comes with some uh, some tools hardware so you can uh take the back of it apart you really uh you really just only need one screwdriver to take the back out it's two screws it's pretty uh it's a pretty simple task to do but um i'm just going to go ahead and i'll just show you guys here the screwdrivers real quick um, yeah, to do this. so the, the part you're going to take apart is the back here and this, it's this big giant cover right here and it's just these two little screws right here very simple uh, just unscrew them Let me zoom in for you here just try and get a better angle for you here now when the Wii U first came out it did have um, some upgrades for it from actually from Nintendo I can't remember the milliamp of them. It wasn't a 6600 milliamp like this uh, one that I ordered off of Amazon. I believe it was a little bit smaller, but I think I can believe reading somewhere about you know eight hour uh, times off of it, use times out of it instead of three, three and a half. And as you can see how small it is, um, like I said, it's a pretty small battery here. It just clicks in. It's pretty, uh, pretty simple connections, 3.7 volts in the 1500 milliamps. Uh, so there you go there's that and there you go and uh, like I said this uh, it's a whole lot bigger it just goes in there sideways or anyway wherever you, it's like the biggest battery you can probably get for it and you just click the connector back in like so and put your cover on tighten your two screws back down there you go that was it that's pretty simple uh just to show you that it uh, does work i'll turn it on for you here and as you can see it it does work it does turn on but that's it guys i wanted to just share that with you uh, i hope everyone just having a great day and having a blessed day and i'll leave a comment and i will get back to you god bless